Hi everybody. Um, another impromptu video. I know I got makeup on, so it's not impromptu, but it's impromptu because I had to come to you right. And um, as usual, today I'm kind of struggling with the pain, so bear with me. But I swear, when all this gets over, this is gonna be my job. This I'm 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 declaring it now. I'm decreeing it now. This is gonna be my job because this is what I love to do: is to come and talk to you guys and just share a little insight so if that makes me really 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 excited so i hope that you can hear me on this one now so i was sitting here i was sitting here and i was listening to um you know one of the the praise songs and you know how well at a concert they scream and everybody makes a noise yay and everybody wave your hands yay and they do it at the concerts right and so they also do it at the at the the, the praise and worship ceremonies, well, it's not a ceremony, it's a concert, but the praise and worship moments, and they do it for God, too. So, I was listening to one of the praise and worship songs, and it was like, if anybody has a testimony, let me hear you make some noise. And the crowd went, yay! If he's ever done anything for you, let me make some noise. And the crowd was like, yay! So, I'll tell you that, tell you this. It hit me that at these concerts, there's, there's like, there's not millions, but there's thousands of people. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people all packed in the stadium. But yet, yeah, they're there and they're all together. And all of those people, all of those people are professing and confessing and just telling you at the top of their lungs, the yay means that God has done something for them. The yay means that God has been there through a troubling time. The yay means that he's, he's been everything. He's given me food when I didn't have none. He's given me a shelter. He's been my lawyer. He's been my mechanic. And he has been my mechanic, trust me, because I didn't have some cars in my day. Okay. He's been my mechanic. He's been the librarian that gave me the right book to read when I needed to know some information. He was everything. And if... If he has worked out, and that's just me, that's my little miracle. So it's one person in the auditorium going, yay, God did it. God, this is my testimony, and I'm going to tell everybody that he has worked it out. If I'm just one person, and this stadium is filled with tens of thousands, maybe hundred, maybe, I don't know, but ten, at least tens of thousands. That means that God is working for everybody on some level, somewhere, okay? So what makes the difference? What I'm trying to say is, you're no different. He can work the same for you if he's done all those little individual people. So all them people that scream had a testimony, had a testimony. And I bet you some of them were unbelievable. I have an unbelievable one that happened just a couple of weeks ago. You, ha, you wouldn't believe it. And if you, you want to know what it was, you can DM me. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. Because it was a doozy. And I didn't think we was going to recover from that one. You know? But, anyway. Okay, I'm primping. Oh, okay. I'm done primping, but I really do mean it. If he's done it for those tens of thousands of people in that stadium, and that's a concentrated area, that means he doesn't sleep. The Bible is true. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He is always watching over you. He is always listening to the prayers. He is always guiding us with his spirit. He's always there. So when you're asking, he's going to answer. You just have to have the faith and believe that the miracle can happen. That he has something to say to you. A lot of us don't believe God has anything to say to us. We just say, God, speak. And we don't know what we're listening for. But you also have to believe. You can't go into it believing that God doesn't speak to me. You know, I'm not his favorite. And, and well, he don't have favors. <laughs> he don't have favors. But that God is not, you know, he's not listening to me. He doesn't know me. He doesn't hear my call. I'm a sinner. I've, I've done this. I've. I've, I've had the sexes, I've done the, uh, what, the drinkings, and I've done the drugs, and I've done just, I've been all kind of promiscuous with my body, 
and I have just blasphemed, well, not blasphemed this name, but I have said no to the people, and I've been rebellious to the authorities, and just all kind of stuff. You think God won't talk to you, but he will. He will. And he will catch you off guard when he does it. Trust me. He'll catch you off guard when he does it. You won't be looking for it. But I encourage you, when you go to him, and you cry out to him, and you say, Lord, fix it, do it, touch me, heal me. I need you. Um, I just, I just want to feel your touch. You have to go into that believing that he will. Believing that he will and that he is there. Even if it's your last hope, believing that he will and he is there. And trust me, you are going to be like one of those 80 million people that was in the stadium talking about, yay, I have a testimony, yay, he did this. Because he will do it. In the words of, what's her name, Corinne Hawthorne, won't he do it? Yes, he will. <sighs> Fight your battles for you. You're going to wonder. You, they going to make you. They going to wonder. They going to wonder why. They going to wonder how he did it. Because there ain't no way that anybody could have done it. And he will prove to you in a way that, like, he'll show up and prove to you in a way that nobody has ever proved to you. And it can't be explained. So you have to know that it was a supernatural power that did that. And omni omniscient, omnipresent, high on the throne, power, superpower that did that. Just trust. That's all. Just trust. So anyway, I really want you to be come join me and be one of the people in the in the in the I want to call it ceremony in the in the stadium. Come join me and be one of the people in the stadium. That's all I have to say for now. I love you all. I miss you all. And um. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'll see you soon. Bye.